what's up everybody what's up uh yeah I heard, like look man i'm gonna say this fuck this bullshit y'all have heard of donald trump bullshitting with the whole the whole obama's birth certificate i thought we established that shit when obama showed his birth certificate and it's kind of fucked up that donald trump is running this bullshit again I want to see a birth certificate. I want to see a birth certificate. Let me see your motherfucking birth certificate. When when Schwarzenegger was sitting there running for governor of California, your dumb ass didn't ask him for his fucking papers. Let me see your let, let me see your birth certificate, Arnold. You ain't say all that. You ain't even question that shit. But when you see a black man that's in the White House, you want to question the shit out of him. Now I'm tell you, man. I think. Donald Trump is a fucking racist. I don't give a damn. If y'all want to kiss his ass, go ahead. Kiss that motherfucker's ass. Oh, I love Donald Trump. I don't give a damn. I watch, I, I watch Shady and Pretty. I do too, man, but it doesn't make me a fan of his. It doesn't make me a fan of his. I hate Donald Trump because he pulls this racist shit. I want to see oh, President Obama's birthday. How come you ain't Bush? Clinton, Reagan, Ford, Carter, none of these motherfuckers has been in office. But you dumbass want to question a black man on them see a birth certificate. You ain't question all the sorts of nigga when he ran for governor and became governor of California. Never see a birth certificate on it. And, and, and Romney, what a dumbass. What a fucking dumbass. You know why I call him a dumbass? You know why I call him dumb? The reason why I call him a dumbass It's like this. The reason why I call him a dumbass He sits up there and he he sits up there and he lets Trump be in his cabinet be on his team be on be in a, his uh, campaign party campaign party and he says, oh, I know Obama was born in Hawaii, and I think he's cool, but you just let this racist yeah, bastard on your team. Get the bite the looking ass. You, know what I'm saying? you just let this motherfucker be on your team, talking that shit. You got a man with all this money and all this damn time on it. This is what's fucking wrong with this dude. Donald Trump's got all this time on his hand. And he ain't got nothing better else to do but fuck with Obama. Why do we, when we get a color person, like one thing is when the color person becomes a big deal in business or something, it always got to be some rich, uptight white motherfucker. I ain't saying every white person is like that. It's just them rich ones that you need to watch out for. Same with them black ones. But... Donald Trump got all this motherfucking money and he want to bitch about Obama. Motherfucker, you, you could have bitched about anybody else. You could have bitched about the Jersey Shore. You could have bitched about Snooki. You could have bitched about Dr. Phil. You could have bitched about Oprah. You could have bitched about Eddie Griffin. You could have bitched about Seth MacFarlane. You could have bitched about George Lopez, Paul Rodriguez, Gabriel Iglesias. Anybody in the fucking world, but you attack and bitch about a colored man being president of this country. Why are you question? Oh, because what his grandmama said on his father's side, she didn't speak English that well. Come on now, you can't really take that into consideration. And Robbie, you're you letting this fucker look, make you look like a fucking fool. He's making you look like a racist. Oh, I, I know Obama's an American because he was born in Hawaii. But you got Trump yelling and screaming like a mother. Nigger ain't born from here. Nigger ain't born from here. Nigger ain't born. That's all he's doing is saying nigger ain't. He might not be saying the N-word, but to me, that's all he's saying. Nigger ain't born here. You got to remember, he's half white too, man. But you, when you, Clinton... 
I'm telling you, Trump didn't ask no other presidents beforehand, let me see a birth certificate, 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 let me see a fucking birth certificate. Not now other presidents of the country, he never asked. But when it came down to Obama, I want to see his birth certificate. Donald Trump, let me see your birth certificate and your hairpiece birth certificate. I'm tired of watching the news or watching the Inside Edition or watching any other news outlet and hearing about your dumb racist white ass. You're not making Romney look good, man. Chilling. I'm glad that Romney's running. I ain't gonna. I ain't supporting him. I ain't fucking voting for him. But it's like this, yes, man. Let that fucker fight his own fucking battle. He don't need no racist hairpiece piece of shit. Being an asshole, talking all that. I want to see old Obama birth certificate. All that is. That's all Donald Trump is. Oh, I got black friends. Okay, you got black friends. Why don't you ask none of your black friends to see their birth certificate, but you ask the commander in chief of the United States for his shit? I'm telling you, Donald Trump is a fucking racist. I know y'all heard me say some racial slurs, but it's like it. I'm tired of hearing this motherfucker talking that bullshit. That's all Donald Trump done is talk that bullshit. And I want to set this shit straight. I want to put Donald Trump in his motherfucking place. Because I'm tired of his shit. I'm tired of him questioning Obama. I'm tired of him throwing his fucking weight around because he's got money. He could have did something. Look, if I was in Donald Trump's shoes and I had all this motherfucking money, my ass would have been in Costa Rica. My ass would have been in Florida. I would have went to Japan. I would have went to Australia. I would have took trips, man. Came back, handled my business at work. Then sit there and chillax and re chill and relax and mind my damn business, help raise my son, my new infant son. I wouldn't be worrying about where Obama's from. If his birth certificate says Hawaii, Honolulu, that's where he's from, Honolulu, motherfucker. That's all it is. That's all he does is questioning, question Obama because he was born in Hawaii and his parents traveled. He never asked either. He never asked none of these other rich folks that travels the world anything because they travel. They live go from Hawaii, Honolulu, Hawaii, China, Japan, Tokyo, Australia, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iraq, Iran, England, uh, Australia. You don't quit. He don't never question them. But it comes down to. A color person in the White House, you want to question it. Are you that fucking pissed off that we got a black person in office? Are you that mad because your dumb white ass can't get in office and nobody don't want you in office? I'm telling you the truth, man. I really don't have time for to play these little bullshit silly games with Donald Trump because one thing is, it's none of his damn business or concerns. If he was born in Hawaii, just leave it at, leave it at that. You don't keep questioning, I want to see his birth certificate. I want to see yours, Donald Trump, and your fucking hair pieces. You can say that shit's real, but I can tell it's doll hair. <laughs> He's got doll hair. That's all it is, Donald Trump's got doll hair. And, uh, but I say like this though, man. I'm I'm just pissed off at Trump because that's all he want to do is yell birth certificate, like the boy who cried wolf. And that's all he wants to do. I, I thought like I thought when 
when you get money like like Donald Trump does, I thought you would have mind your own damn business and spent your own fucking money and left everybody the fuck alone. Cause you know how rich folks are, man. They run the fuck with the poor folks. But when it comes down to who run this fucking country, they up they they some motherfuckers, man. I don't give a fuck if he's born in Hawaii or born in New York City or born in Las Vegas. It's none of my fucking business. It's none of my motherfucking business. Oh, he was born in Kanye. Who cares, dude? Who cares, man? I, I'm just tired of this shit. It's on a daily fucking basis. He wants to yell for this damn birth certificate. He want to yell for it, man. It's it's ridiculous. It's already been shown. It's been di done. So mind your fucking business. Are you that fucking bored? Where are you that fucking bored? Where you gotta keep on pushing the button about where he was born? Cause to me, it sound like you, you just want to pick a fight with a person of of color. Just to get your ass, look, man. If you want to get out in the mainstream, get out there and get in the limelight. The best thing for you to do is take half your money and put it to good use for the people who needs it. Don't sit up there and bullshit and make an argument well about Obama's birth certificate because it's been done and over with, and let it go. Just let it go. You making Romney look like a fucking boo boo, the fucking fool over there. Rami's sitting over there saying, I'm cool with the, uh, I know, he's sitting over, Rami's sitting over there saying, I know that Obama's from Hawaii, he's an American. He said that himself, I know he's an American and he was born in Hawaii. How come Rami knowledge that he was born and raised in Hawaii, he was born and raised in Hawaii and other countries. He was born and raised in Hawaii, he knowledge that. But it's it, but it's a fucking hard time for. See, this is why white folks catch a fucking bad rap. Is because fuckers like Trump. I'm I'm for real, man. Romney seems like a cool guy, and all like that. He seems like it, but you know I can't support him because he was bullying people in school and has an issue with gay marriages, and I can't support Trump because he hates black folks and gay people. So I really can't support Trump. Anyway, forgot he's forgot he wears a pillowcase, and his hairpiece wears a pillowcase too. And that's all it is. Romney can acknowledge that he can get he got over the shit. But it's it, 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 it seems like it's it, Trump is having a hard time getting over the whole Obama was born in Hawaii issue. It's about having the color. Like even if McCain was still in, not McCain, but Cain, Herman Cain was still running for president. What if he won? Is he going to question Cain for his birth certificate? Well, you don't want to see another color person in the White House? Is that what it is? Is that what that is? You didn't want to see another black person in the White House? You definitely didn't want to see Hillary in the White House. That was one damn thing. Cause I, I know how you is, man. I know how Trump is. He's one of them motherfuckers that hate, hate the women, hate for a woman to have something. Cause he, you, you ever seen his wife, man? His wife ain't working with. Well, any any woman that marries a rich man, they gonna lay on the ass because hey, they got a man to take care of them. I could understand that, but it comes down to a point where. If it's the evidence been shown that he is an American citizen, that means he's an American citizen. There is no if, ands, or buts. You can't go beyond that. You cannot go beyond that. There's, like I said, Arnold Schwarzenegger is not from this country, but he's an American citizen because he's got his green card and he married an American and got kids. He's been in this country for some odd years, and he and he became governor of California, of California, but he never questioned him 
about his birth certificate. If you so obsessed with politics or who's running the country or who's running the state, you could have questioned Arnold Schwarzenegger like you questioned Obama about his birth certificate. Why couldn't you do that? It's because you got Arnold Schwarzenegger sucking your dick or you sucking his dick. That's all it is to it. I sat up here and I watched this bullshit go on forever, on and on and on and on because that's all Trump wants to do. Pick a fight to make himself look good. Why don't you just put on your fucking pillowcase and your bed sheet and go back to your racist ass tower and fuck yourself. No, why don't you, instead of fucking yourself, go hang yourself, man. I'm tired of hearing you bull, your, your bullshit, your lip, your nonsense. You ain't nothing but a dick in a booty ass racist bastard. Because you ain't never going to let this down. If Obama wins, hell yeah, Obama wins again. Let him win again. Let him get a second turn. If he does, if I was Obama and I won the election, the first thing I do is fuck your bitch ass up. IRS, go get his bitch ass, take all his motherfucking money. Make him a broke ass. That's how that's how I'll do that shit. Take all his shit, his assets and everything. Because it makes no sense that this man will sit up there and continue to question his birth certificate. If the evidence proves that he is from the U.S., quit questioning it. Because that's all it is. is some, when a black person get, a, get in a good position, it's got to be some other minority that's going to bitch and complain and go on and so forth to do anything to knock down that black person or that Latino or their Arabic. Because the color of their skin or their religion or their sex, it's got to be one motherfucker that's going to pick a fight because the color of their skin, because the ethnic background, because their religion, their sex, or their gender. And it's fucking sickening. I cannot call myself an American if we got a country where we got a rich ass motherfucker that can't shut the fuck up that is a racist towards minorities. I really cannot say I'm an American if we got fuckers like him. To me, I'm call, to me Donald Trump is a terrorist. To me, he is not. A, he's a commie, for all I know. He's probably got a hidden room in his room in his house that has nothing but swastikas around it. I don't know. You don't hear. Bill Gates bitching about his fucking about Obama's birth certificate. You didn't hear Steve Jobs bitch about Obama's birth certificate. You didn't hear all that. You didn't hear none of these other rich ass people. You didn't hear none of these rich people bitch about Obama's birth certificate, but you hear that shit from Obama. Not Obama, but Donald Trump. Why does Donald Trump got to question Obama? Because where he's from. That's all it is. It's always going to be... It's always going to be Trump trying to be a fucking hypocrite. I love black folks. But you question this nigga. You question this man because he's black and his he was born in... Born in Hawaii? You question that? Why don't you? Like, okay, why don't you? Since Dog Chapman lives in Hawaii, why don't you question him about his birth certificate? Why don't you question uh, uh, Wesley Snipes for his birth certificate? Why not question Arnold Schwarzenegger for his birth certificate? Or Paul Rodriguez, George Lopez, Gabriel Iglesias, uh, Rihanna, Chris Brown, Tyler Perry, Oprah, Bill Gates. Bill Cosby. That's how it is, man. That's why I'm I'm qu asking, I'm questioning Donald Trump. A friend though, and ladies and gentlemen, if y'all want to sit see me sit down with Donald Trump and question the shit out of him and make him look like fucking boo boo the fucking fool, send this shit to everybody you know, cause that's how it is. Cause I want to question the shit out of him. 
Why are you such a racist? Why you hate black folks? Why do you see going to Because one thing, because one thing, it, it pisses me off that all he does is pick the, try to pick a fight with Obama because of what? He's black. No, he's mixed. His mom is white and his dad's black. Why are you questioning it so fucking hard? It's none of your fucking concern. He just mad because Obama ain't sucking his dick. Kissing his ass. That's all that is. That's all it is. And Mitch, Mitt Romney is getting made to look like boo boo the fucking fool because he allowed Donald Trump being the, his campaign party or his cabinet. If he, if, I feel bad. I feel bad. If Romby wins me, it's going to be a star saying, Romby, the first racist bastard president. And I feel bad for him because he's going to get labeled as that because he's got Donald Trump being such a racist ass bastard. That's all it is. That's all it is. Romby don't need that kind of credit where he's going to have a racist bastard questioning the commander in chief of this fucking country. I'm not a racist. I'm just pissed off that Romney's getting made look like a fool. Let Romney do that on his. Uh, let, let Romney make himself look like a fool. He don't need no help from Donald Trump now. He don't. He really don't. He don't need your help, Trump. Don't you sit your rich ass down somewhere for somebody to beat your ass. Somebody's going to, one of these days, somebody's going to fuck Trump up, and I'm going to sit back and laugh my ass out when that happened. I predicted the same shit about Perez Hilton. If he didn't shut the fuck up, he was going to get his ass whipped, and a few weeks later, find out Perez got his ass whipped by what I am. Now, if Donald Trump don't sit his bitch ass down, someone's going to fuck him up. Oh, I got fucked up, and then first thing he's going to do is blame Obama. He gonna first thing Donald Trump gonna do is blame Obama. That's how it is, man. It's always gonna be that shit. It's always gonna be that shit. As long as Obama's in office, Trump is gonna sit there and keep on poking at it like a fucking wounded animal. Or like a fucking bear. Till one day Obama's gonna say, fuck it. Secret Service get his ass. Get his ass, put him in Guantanamo Bay. Put him in Guantanamo. I ain't got time for this shit. If I was Obama, I would have did that already. Show him my birth certificate. If he's not satisfied, Secret Service, come pick him up. Drop him off at Tanamo. I wonder. I, I'm, I'm gonna ask this question. I'm gonna ask this question. Did Trump kill? O, did Trump kill Osama? Did Trump kill Osama? Did Trump kill Osama? No. The reason why I asked that question three times because that motherfucker never did. Who got who killed Osama? Obama. You can't you can't say he's a Muslim because he killed Osama. That's kind of funny. Now it's not only funny when Obama's terms and Obama's terms. Osama's dead, Kim Jong Lin is dead, and Al Gaddafi is dead, and his kids. You didn't see that shit when Bush was in office, Clinton was in office, or Bush Sr. was in office, did you? Fuck no, but you saw it when Obama was in office. All that shit. You can't say, oh, well, I know y'all gonna say, well, you can't give him credit for Al Gaddafi or Kim Jong Lin's death. Well, yeah, I can, but they died when he was in office. They died when he was in office. It's funny, ain't it? It's funny. The three, three of the most, three of the most fucked up motherfuckers that that was wanted by the FBI, by the U.S. government, dead, dead on Obama's watch, and and Trump wants the bitch. About a birth certificate? Come on, you kidding me? 
You kidding me? Why ruin a good thing, dude? Why ruin a good thing? Because he raised taxes on rich people? What, you got to pay more than what you put out? Now, at least you're getting something back in return, motherfucker. Why bitch you complain about it? That's how it is, man. This is how I roll, motherfucker. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Afro Joe Ten like T.I. Motherfucker is. If you like what I got to say, tell me what you think in a comment or a video response. If not, kiss my ass, burn in hell, you piece of shit. I really don't need your negativity. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channels, uh, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3, and that's how I motherfucking roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>